winning the Oscar really was about knowing all of the all the feelings and intentions and all the hard work and everything that came to together to make this piece. It was really validated. We felt like we did everything we had to do. And it's like at that point, you know, it's like if it happens, it happens. But you feel like you've really done all the work that you can do. And the Oscar goes to Hair Love, Matthew A. Cherry and Karen Griffith Oliver. I don't even remember how we got on the stage. We somehow got there just magically. Um, it was all just a dream, you know? So that's why it's a little strange to see that it actually happened. You dream about a moment like that all your life. When you're up there, you're literally looking at a crowd of, I forget how many thousand people were there. And then you have the big teleprompter right in front of you, basically with a countdown. <laughs> you know, it can be really hard to gather your thoughts. Thank you so much to the Academy and everybody out there that supported this film. There were lots of you. We share this award with you. Being there and being in the in this room, you know, this room that we'd always dreamed of with like all of our idols and, you know, actors and the, the best performers and directors and producers, that in itself was surreal. So I just want to say that Hair Love was done because we wanted to see more representation in animation. There were so many filmmakers that worked so hard on this and it was a labor of love. And it was because we have a firm belief that representation matters deeply. As a child, it's the first images that we see. We're always watching TV cartoons and watching animated movies. And, you know, as a, as a black kid, you know, we're very aware of the fact that there are no images that look like us, you know, and we grew up without them. And that was really profound and it shaped us, you know, in a way that you don't want to have to have kids not be able to see themselves on the screen. Especially in cartoons because in cartoons, that's when we first see our movies and it's how I sh we shape our lives and think about how we see the world. Even though these characters in, the, in our short film were black, there's just something about the medium that really, I think just makes people a little bit more open to exploring these worlds that are a little bit more either fantastical or worlds that aren't what their normal experience is. I had to do something just as good so I can get back there and, you know, <laughs> thank, them, thank them again. Well, I'm just excited about using that energy, taking it to go make other things with that same kind of passion. And I think that's the main thing, that no one can take that away from me. I know exactly how that feels and I want to feel it. I want to feel it again. <laughs>